All right, uh, let's see. Let's um, let's get started. All right, uh, welcome again, Jose Anunciato. Uh, this is my um, this is uh, uh, my personal email and um, uh, also my personal phone number. Uh, so please uh, don't share it, uh, but uh, feel free to text me or, or get a hold of me. Um, uh, if I if I can't if I don't answer the phone right away, I might be with another student or so. Just uh, uh, just uh, be persistent. Uh, but um, you know I'm you know I'm I'm uh, I'm, I'm very uh, available if you if you if you just want to text me or I can also uh, do hangouts. Um, it is once a week, so it makes it a little bit harder to to perhaps you know, spread the, uh, the the course uh, over a couple of days. Uh, so it's it's pretty intensive. You know, three hours here that we're going to be together. Uh, again, I'll try to split it and have like a 10, 15 minute break in the middle. Uh, but uh, if, if you need help, uh, obviously there's uh, TAs are, are going to be available. Uh, but uh, we're all also going to be available on Hangout. If you if you, if you you know if you if you text me, we can jump on a on a Hangout together. Uh, just 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 let me know priority if we if we can if it, you know maybe later that that evening or or, or later that uh, that that week. Um, uh, um, I'm in the 132. E uh, Nightingale, right? With a, I'm, I'm sure you've you've been there, in, in one of those uh, those offices. Uh, we have a, you know, you can come by uh, any any time. I'm mostly here, uh, every day except Friday. I'm uh, every day here. Uh, there, there'll be official office hours, uh, probably in the in the noon time. Uh, I believe it's Tuesdays and Wednesdays. They they move my schedule around a little bit, uh, but uh, at noon time. Uh, be those, those will be the official office, office hours, but feel free to, to walk in anytime that uh, you're around in campus. Uh, again, Fridays probably I'm not going to be here, but uh, other than that, the, the other four days I should be in campus. Um, there's two teaching assistants. One of them uh, updated their contact information, uh, Mohan uh, Potukuchi. Uh, the other TA hasn't yet uh, shared their, uh, uh, their contact. Um, yeah, course goals, right? We're gonna uh, obviously it's databases, but uh, it goes a little further than that. Uh, for the, the first half is uh, you know, classical databases, uh, data storage, and how to model uh, all sorts of data structures uh, using classical, you know, SQL uh, tables and whatnot. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll then uh, expand on that on uh, other other alternative ways of uh, uh, of interacting with databases. Certainly, we'll we'll know, learn how to uh, interact with them using uh, programming languages such as Java. Uh, we'll um, we'll also uh, do some NoSQL databases with uh, MongoDB, uh, and uh, and the typical way of interacting with uh, with uh, MongoDB is, is through uh, using JavaScript. Um, so we'll we'll have to learn a little bit of Node.js uh, so that we can use the libraries that allow us to interact programmatically with uh, uh, non-relational databases. Um, uh, but there's certainly I mean, we'll talk about the all the theories of of, uh, of representing data, uh, and then the specific ways of representing in in you know in different infrastructures. The most common one is relational databases, and so we'll be spending most of our time, the, you know, at least the first half of the semester, on representing data structures in in relational databases. Uh, but a lot of things that we learn theoretically in uh, in you know the first half is then applicable in other alternative ways of representing it. You know, using XML, using JSON, using all sorts of other other ways. Uh, you know, the same problems are going to uh, pop up. You know, redundancy. You know, how do you, how do you how do you um, uh, in, in index things to quickly uh, retrieve data? Uh, so 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 the same issues that we'll will uh, address early on in um, uh, in uh, just relational databases will will again reappear in uh, in other uh, alternative ways, right? Um, so 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 a lot, a lot of the things that we'll learn early on will Will uh, will be applicable later. later. Um, there there'll be uh, about six six assignments. Uh, so every every two weeks, uh, first assignment is going to go out today, and so you, you can expect every assignment to, to uh, come out uh, the you know every every two weeks and be due. Uh, so for instance, today's Wednesday. They, they the first assignment will be due uh, two weeks from now on Wednesday. You know, two weeks from now, whatever it is, and um, at, at midnight. Um, the um, there is a team project that uh, that goes along as well, and, and usually what what will happen is that the there'll be a uh, an assignment uh, that's going to go out uh, one week, and then 
the uh, every other week there'll be a project related assignment. Uh, the the first one uh, will be really really easy. Uh, uh, you know, either you know setting up uh, teams, uh, setting up in a development environment, setting up uh, as early as possible. A, you know, getting getting through the drudgery of setting up something that runs locally on your machine, runs lo- uh, remotely on some on some remote server, uh, hooked up to, to a database. Uh, it's a it's um, for the most part it's uh, you know we've, we've got everything down that you can follow along and, and set it up. But uh, and, and I, I think for for most of our you know about eighty percent of everyone will will be successful. Uh, but there's always like you know twenty percent of uh, folks who uh, who, who um, uh, uh, who, who, who go through some pain, pain uh, setting up the environment. Uh, so I'd rather have that pain early on in the semester and not towards the end uh, and address that now. Uh, so that it'll, it'll give us plenty of time to you know, uh, clean that up uh, as, we, as we progress. Uh, even though it's, it won't be due for another three weeks, uh, I'd, I'd really suggest you get started now, setting up the environment. I'll, I'll demonstrate today how to, how to get started. Um, and um, again, it should be painless, but uh, you know we always have uh, some outli- some some painful outliers out there that uh, I like to address that as early as possible. Um, uh, it is a team project, so uh, so three members. Uh, so we suggest three members, right? The and the, the size of the project, the complexity of the project. Uh, I think three members is uh is is uh, right about uh, what we need. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, we used to we used to throttle the complexity based on how many uh, how many were in a team, and that but that added all sorts of complexity on how to grade it and to be fair. You know, you know how much complex uh, this should it be if you have four team members uh, as opposed to two. Uh, so to just simplify that, you know the the size and complexity of the project is should be the same. Uh, we suggest three, uh, but we're not we're not gonna throttle or or or, or make a um, you know, change the complexity if you only have two uh, in your team. Okay, it's, it just makes it so much harder to to be fair and, and to, and to um, all weights and whatnot. It becomes very very subjective. So so we're just gonna keep, leave the uh, the complexity the same regardless of uh, if you have. So please start looking for members. Uh, we're we're gonna be using um, um, uh, a Blackboard. Uh, we'll set up you know about 20, 20 teams. Uh, and uh, you know, make sure you you join a team, right? Um, uh, so evaluation. So there's a there's be six assignments, about six quizzes as well. Again, every other week. Um, the, the the project at the end of the, of the end the end of the semester. Even though it's due at the end of the semester, don't leave it to the last two three weeks of the semester. Uh, ideally, uh, as you as you follow along in the in the course and we introduce uh, topics. Uh, you would be applying those uh, those techniques right uh, for your own project, right? Uh, since you know we'll ask like the first assignment asks you to create UML diagrams, uh, you will do a data uh, uh, use case analysis uh, of a problem set that that we propose. Uh, you know the ideally that you know we're going to ask of the same thing for your final project, right? So if, if you do it right away after the first assignment. Um, even though it's not due until the end, uh, that that will lessen the effort uh, towards the end. Yes. Uh, so I, I don't want to hear it says, "Oh my goodness, uh, it's it's due uh, the same day of the final." Uh, well, no, it's, you've had <laughs> quite a few months to get started. So so get started right away. Uh, one one of the requirements in the project is to uh, find a data set, right? To to work uh, with a uh, either download a data set. Uh, or interact with the data set through some kind of API. Uh, so you know, get started on something that interests you, right? Uh, whether it's, you know, it's financial, uh, uh, defense, or healthcare, or whatever, right? Start looking for a data set right, that interests you, whether it's something you can download or something you can access through a third-party API or some RESTful service or whatever, okay? Start, start looking for something that might interest your team. Uh, what you actually work on is is uh, uh, it's up to you, right? The actual the actual topic of interest, uh, I'll leave that to you and the team what to to uh, to decide. You know, as long as you're within the the requirements of, of the project, I think they're pretty gen- generic. That um, uh, that it should it should uh, suffice most uh, projects. It's it's fairly generic. 
but uh, but if you if you feel that uh, the um, the requirements are too constrained uh, for what you want to do, um, uh, you know, just talk to us. Well, we we we're 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 okay with uh, uh, negotiating, right? Negotiating on uh, some requirements. You know, we'll skip we'll overlook some of the requirements if you add some other complexity, right? We can we can we can bargain. All right. Um, the uh, let's see. So there's a there's a midterm uh, about you know mid mid October, and a final uh, the last day of class will be a final. Uh, so that's uh, right after we come back from Thanksgiving uh, break. Right? It'll be a final exam. Um, makeup policy. Uh, so so uh, usually what what we have is um you know usually we we don't we don't allow any makeup, but uh, you know if something. Uh, you have some personal personal issues, you know. Please let us know. Uh, or something in your family or whatever. Uh, certainly, uh, we'll will be will work with you. Um, if any, anybody in sports here that has to travel or, or for the season, some, I often does get get some folks that uh, uh, have a have to leave or something or a conference or, or whatever. So let me know if you, if you need to travel or something. Uh, it's okay if you need to do be remote for 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 a week or so. Um, so, but yeah, let us know beforehand. There also usually towards the end, there's a like a bonus uh, assignment uh, that, um, that that usually is is for you know if you missed an assignment or you uh, you can use that as a replacement for whatever for whatever assignment you you, uh, you you didn't do well. Okay, that will replace whatever you you missed. Uh, same thing for a quiz, right? If uh, if you missed a quiz, usually we can. We can we have a uh, an extra quiz that you can take uh, that can take of the uh, the place of that, that of that missed quiz, All right? Um, uh, let's see what else. Um, uh, assignments we uh, we uh, uh, usually we ask you to uh, uh, to have all your source code that you're going to be working in a uh, GitHub repository. Uh, obviously, the assignments will be personal GitHub repository, so each each one of you should have your own personal uh, GitHub repository, uh, and it should be private. And um, uh, you will um, uh, invite uh, myself and the TAs to your private repository. And uh, usually, that's the best way that we can help you if you if something if if you can't get something running uh, for an assignment, uh, we can quickly you know clone down your repository, help you, and then push uh, any any fixes right away. Uh, if you have any questions on Piazza, uh, please uh, always provide as much information as you can. Uh, provide, you know, may maybe a, a link to the line of code where you think things are going wrong. Uh, you know, don't start with a very vague problem. Uh, be as specific as possible. Maybe even, you know, again, links to uh, what uh, what you, where you think the problem might be, and and we can we can help you from there. Um, otherwise, there'll be lots of back and forth trying to just, you know, see how we can help you. But that, that's usually that that's, has been the best place to, to get started, right? So, a, a specific line of code. Um, obviously, the, the for the project, there'll be a Git repository shared amongst uh, uh, the uh, the team members. Uh, plus, uh, usually, there'll be a TA assigned to your to your uh, team. Uh, so you'll you'll need to invite them as well for that for that project. Uh, I don't foresee having to uh, need more than a repository, the, more than one repository for a project. But if we, if you do, you know, uh, you, uh, oftentimes I have folks that uh, uh, you know want to do some UI stuff. It's not required at all to do any U UI, uh, you know, fancy UI, anything. But oftentimes we we get uh, a couple of students that want to do that. So probably they'll need additional repositories. Um, uh, you know, careful with borrowing code. Uh, it's okay to reuse, uh, you know, libraries that uh, are, are out there um, that uh, are not part of the core uh, 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 assignment or part of the core uh, requirements of the project. That's fine. Uh, always let us know where you what you're using. That uh, what is not yours, right? And and obviously, whenever you're in doubt, let it, uh, ask. Okay, whether this is considered plagiarism or not. Uh, the TAs have been around for quite a while, uh, for several semesters. So they they're they're familiar with past assignments, uh, going back to several semesters. You know, do not copy from anywhere, uh, from any other uh, GitHub repositories, uh, from past semesters. Don't you know? They're very good at finding these uh, 
these these kinds of things. So please don't put us in any awkward position uh, of uh, of plagiarism. It's it's very awkward uh, for 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 us and the TAs and obviously for you. Uh, we are required to report any any suspicion, right? To to Oscar. Um, you know they they're more uh, informed of uh, of past uh, issues that uh, you know any one of you might have been there, right? So yeah, don't don't put us in that awkward position, please. Uh, yeah, read through the uh, uh, university academic integrity. Um, academic integrity. Uh, 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 you know, classroom environment. Please feel free to interrupt me at any time. Um, uh, I'm usually here a little bit uh, right after class as well. Uh, let's see, what else? I don't believe anybody with disability has approached me, but if there are, please let me know. Uh, any questions? Um, 